So my final video so far on the applicator, and I say so far because we're more than happy to hear from uh, things you would like to see the applicator doing so we can show you how to access that quickly. Um, so do send in your ideas. Um, is turning pages, turning pages in an ebook app or Kindle or something that's similar. Um, we uh, obviously in previous videos have shown you how to do so with our switch to scan and using voiceover mode um, but as you get to grips with switch control um, and as you get to use different things within switch control you'll notice that we could use something called the recipes function in the newest iOS. So what I'm going to do is show you how to turn the pages but I want to sort of start it with a bit of an intro in that what you could do with your applicator with the BM4 ports is you could have your switches set up um, as they normally are for scanning if you can use all four switches, if the user can use all four switches. So those two could be their, their, normal, um, their normal sort of uh, device ac action. So, you know, scanning across the different items and selecting. Then you could have two more for uh, plugged in for specifically for that recipe of turning the pages backwards and forwards. However, for the sake of this video, and perhaps if you just are, uh, from an OT point of view, if you're just going to give this device with the switches to the the person who is going to just simply be reading and you don't want them to do anything else um, I'm just going to show you how to set up the switches to do only that action so the applicator is turned on we are paired up the switches are still connected um, but it doesn't matter what what function they're set up and because the recipes will over override that completely so you're in switch control menu in accessibility and you go to recipes we want to create a new recipe and this recipe you can call it whatever you like but we're going to call it turning the page or turning pages. Now, once you've done that, you assign your switches. Now we'll go to red first. Now the red switch, we want to be flicking the page um, over forward. So that's right to left. So we'll be turning the page that way. So we'll go right to left swipe and you'll notice there's other options in there. So the recipes, the preset recipes are there for lots of different things that you can't normally standard do as a standard do. However, um, you can also select custom gestures and make your own as well. So we'll have right to left or red. We'll assign the other switch there yellow for left to right to turn the page that way if we want to go back a page. We'll come back out. Timeout you can use if you'd like to where switch control will exit the recipe if you haven't used it for a long time But if you're turning a page and you're reading and someone might take a while with reading It's best to leave that off really and just stay in that function, but if the timeout is on when you um, Have timeout on after that given time the switches will revert back to their previous actions that we'd set up before come out of recipes and then this final bit is crucial. You have to set it up to launch the recipe. So you go into launch recipe and select the recipe you've, you've, you've built in there. Now what happens is switch control is still off. As soon as you switch, switch as soon as you put switch control on, uh, the recipes take over. So what we're going to do now is go switch control on. You get this little message come up saying your switches are configured to your recipe you've set up, and we'll show you straight into the Kindle app how that works. Turning the page forward, turning the page back. It's as simple as that. So that's turning pages with your applicator. And as I said, you could still have a, a couple of other switches put in there with different functions if you really needed to. Um, but yeah, turning pages couldn't be simpler.